So I wanted to introduce a product I've been working on the last several months. This is my hard disk drive persistence of vision clock version 2.0. And I wanted to show where this project started out as, where it's ended up so far, and what it's taken to bring it all together and make it all work as it does now. Um, so this clock began out just like this. This is a, a normal um, hard drive as you can see. And what I did is I pulled off the front face of the hard drive and inside of the hard drive there's actually two of these um, spinning platters here. And what I did is I replaced the bottom spinning platter with a 3D printed spacer and I cut a slit into the um, top spinning platter. And underneath of this spinning platter is um, this stationary LED board that I designed. Now this board doesn't have any parts on it right now, um, but it is the same board that goes inside of the, the clock. And so on this board is a IR reflective sensor. And this sensor I use to tell when the, the, the slit of the hard drive passes over top of it. And I'm able to use how frequently that happens along with some ba uh, simple math to determine exactly where the slit is of this platter at all times while it's rotating around about 35 times a second. And so in each one of these rotations, I'm changing the colors of the LEDs on this board um, to be able to draw out, based on the location of that uh, slit there, the different clock hands and the clock face behind the hands. And so how do I turn on the LEDs? How do I read from the sensor? How am I doing all that? Well, on the back here, you can see I have redesigned the main board as well. And so right here to the side, I've got um, a main board here without any of the parts on it. And I was actually able to uh, hide most of the circuitry on the inside. And that includes an ARM Cortex processor, uh, an, a real-time clock, level shifting for multiple components, a motor driver, voltage regulation. But not only that, we have multiple buttons here to interface with the clock, a potentiometer for setting the time that you'll see a little bit later, as well as a Wi-Fi module for in the future being able to change the colors of the clock hands and the clock background um, with your phone. And so I'm really, really happy with how the clock itself has turned out, the overall um, look of the clock, um, just how everything has turned out I'm very happy with. And I hope, um, especially after seeing some more of the animations I've been working on, that you guys like it just as much as I do. But yeah, that's a basic overview of what it is.